Dear friends, we want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom. It is so beautiful. As we enter into the new year, the first Shabbat of the month of Cheshvan, the month that doesn't have any holidays. And sometimes we start thinking that without any holidays, where is the, the excitement, the celebration, the uplifting that we, we should have in our lives? Especially we just came from a month, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, and Kostara, and all the days in between. We were in incredible joy, an incredible celebration. And then we go to a downer where there's no holidays. So very fascinating, we find in the story of the flood, in this week's Torah portion of Noah, where God flooded the world, and everything that was in the world was destroyed, all living creatures, except those that were brought into the ark. And in the ark, which had three floors, and it was quite big, a football and a half field, so a football field and a half long, 450 feet. And in this ark, on one of the floors were all the animals, birds, and all types of crawling creatures on the earth were all in the same exact boat in the same floor. And yet, this experience was for a complete year. They were in the boat for 365 days. Everyone got along. It was no incidents, according to some opinions, one incident of a lion with Noah, but not dangerous. No incidents of anyone hurting each other. Not the humans between each other, not the animals between each other, not animals to humans. And we are told that inside the Teva, inside the Ark, there was a, a, a feeling, a sense of peace and unity in a very powerful spiritual sense like it will be when Mashiach will come and that's the reason why when the flood was finished and the ground was dry they didn't want to leave the ark there was a certain feeling of upliftment a certain feeling of unity a certain intensity a spiritual intensity that they didn't want to leave go of and they had to all be forced out of the ark instead of just leave the ark. And I want to tell you, my friends, that they experienced it for a year. But we are given that gift every week. Shabbat is like an ark Shabbat is like an ark in a raging sea of waters. That is what Shabbat is like. An ark in a raging sea of waters. Even though around us there's so much going on, there's so much noise, all the issues of the world are there, but when you're in the ark, you're safe. You don't get wet. You're not under the same danger and you feel as if you're in paradise as if you're in the world to come that's what Shabbat is six days a week we're running we're trying to make things work then we light the candles and Shabbat descends on earth and the world doesn't get in the way of ourselves we shut our phones we stop touching any type of electricity. We don't get into our cars. We don't even do our mundane things. We don't watch TV and other things like that. Just spend time with our family, with ourselves. Developing ourselves, our character, our connection to Hashem, our connection to each other, in prayer, in community. It's a gift that we have. That we have an ark every week. The ark and the sea of raging waters of what this world is for all of us and every one of us in our own way knows exactly what the experience is. But the more you do of Shabbat, even if you don't do it all, just do one more thing and you will find that it becomes an oasis. It takes off the stress. It's a time of recharging. 
we don't want to leave Shabbat when it finishes. But we know now that we're recharged, we got to go out in the world, manipulate, and try to direct things toward goodness, towards godliness. So my friends, we don't have holidays, but we have the gift of Shabbat every single week. Let's make the most of it. It's the greatest gift God could have given us, and He said so. So we love you all. May God bless you. Shabbat Shalom. Candlelight in time in Montreal, 6.02 p.m.